What's up, YouTube? It's Josh, FJ55 Iron Pig. Excuse my voice. I am sick as a dog. But I got this a couple days ago. And if I feel good enough to go ahead and unbox it. I've been waiting for this for, oh, an extremely long amount of time. Because it's the very first time I've ever bought myself any armor. So, as you can tell by the title of the video, this is the AR500 Veritas. If you're unfamiliar, the Veritas is more of a budget-friendly kind of armor package with level 3, which is good up to uh, 308 non-armor piercing, multi-hit capable, and everything underneath that. So, really cool. So, before we get started, I do want to thank James Yeager. He's the first video that I saw about this, but he's he's been pulled. He's been banned from YouTube for you know using his freedom of speech in a private company, sadly. Won't get into that. And also to Such. Such did a review on it as well, but he also had a, I think it was a 10% discount code. So go check out Such. If I remember, I'll put it in the link or in the description down below for his discount code. It was Such something, if I remember correctly. So yeah, shipping was really fast. I was expecting six weeks, eight weeks, because it was, you know, December. No, it only took about three weeks to get to here. And I was very excited about that. Package weight is about 21 pounds. I'm still carrying this every day. Let's see if we can focus on that a little better. There we go. Spider Co. Tenacious. And that has been spray painted with some uh, wannabe moss gray. The packaging on this, or the actual package itself, arrived in the mail beautifully. No issues. It wasn't banged up or anything. Which, something that's this heavy, I'd expect to be kind of beat up a little bit. So yeah, obviously you got the AR-500 emblem there. There you go. For those of you who like to see pretty much every detail on the packaging. Let's go ahead and cut that off of there. So I hope everyone's Christmas is going good. Holiday season. Hope that you have a good New Year. Looks like we got a couple patches in here too. So that's cool. Quickly check and see this, make sure there's no personal information on here that doesn't belong to you guys. And there is. So price on this get up. Oh here. Excellent. I got his code. It's in the shipping. So let's focus. There we go. So here's what it comes with, your plate carrier, pouches and shit, and the actual plates themselves. Subtotal, 144 bucks. Discount, Twang N Bang. That's T-W-A-N-G-N-B-A-N-G. -N -N that took off $7.20. Shipping, 12 bucks. Just cheap. Just 12 bucks for shipping on this. Brought my total to 148.80. Good deal. Well, to get in there, uh, welcome to the Armored Republic. A nice little letter here. I'm not going to read it. That's something you guys can read for yourselves. And then it's all signed by, like, the CEO, the president. Cool stuff like that. Nothing else on the back. Right, cha, yeah, you have the return policy, the instructions. On the back side, legal and terms of use. That's cool. On to the more interesting stuff. There we go. Armored Republic, the AR-500 Armor. I gotta say, I really, really like their, their Phoenix. I'm assuming that's a Phoenix. Oh, I like this one. This one's nice. It's all subdued. Actually, it shows up better on camera than it does looking just at it. This will probably go on it until I find something different. I'm patriotic, but I don't wear American flag stuff on my sleeves. Just not into it. So, here's the first plate. Oops. Hold on a second. Here. Get out of that loud plastic. If you're not familiar with AR-500 armor, you may be familiar with um, Kevlar armor that's soft. Or kind of like those uh, ceramic plates that are a lot lighter, but you can only take one, maybe two hits on them. That's it. They're done. 
and you can drop them and you have to storm at the right temperature and they're only good for a certain number of years but they're light and then you have some other ones that are that float those are very expensive they're very cool too these are made out of steel all right is it heavy yes it is heavy especially when you put two of these plates on your body but the upside to that is the cost yes you have a lot of weight to them but they don't really go go bad I mean, the shelf life is 20 years and i'm sure that's for the, the i believe they call it the pack x which is line x essentially like for truck bed coating now this does not have to build up this is just the base coat i'm sure at some point i could add more if i wanted to but i'm not really going to mess with that right now what this does is when a round comes in and impacts on steel it shatters into tons of little pieces it's called spalling what this is designed to do is supposed to trap a lot of that spalling why is this important? Think about it. If this is on the front of your body, what do you have out in front of your chest? You have your man boobs, whether they're meat or if they're fat. You've got your arms, you have your neck, and you have your face. And you have your lower body as well. What that does is it helps capture not 100%, but the majority of that spalling so it doesn't go into your body. Positive when it comes to steel. There are a lot of tests online of people shooting this stuff, and I'm talking not five or 10, 20, 30. I've seen tests of where you're doing over 100 rounds into this. Now, if you're getting shot 100 times, you have the worst day imaginable. This is really your body's only designed to take so many hits before it just stops. That's just the way it is. So there you go. Shelf life 20 years. Threat rating tells you uh, M80 NATO ball at 2,760 feet per second. This is the body side with the sticker on it. This is the strike face. Also, one other note on here I want you to take a look at. This is called a shooter's cut. So if you look here, let's grab one of these and show you. Look, the patch is almost the same length right here, right? This is the left-hand side. I'm a right-handed shooter. It's a little longer on that side, see? Not quite half, but another quarter in length. That's so you can shoulder your rifle a little easier it's a little more difficult when you have these on it changes your geometry so there's one plate where should we put this let's put this over here oh you can't even see it on camera and then of course the exact same thing on the rear plate these are interchangeable I mean, you can wear one on the front one on the back they are not the curved ones these are flat Curved ones are a little better. Then you have uh, more aggressive cuts on the top. Maybe that's called a swimmer's cut. A little less protection, but a little less weight. So let's get rid of this ugly box. All right, so what do you got? First, you got these clips. The speed clips, mouse clips, I forget which ones they're called. But basically it makes it a lot faster to, to attach everything to your webbing. So you run it through, you slide this in, and it locks in with the tab. Easy breezy. When you're ready to take it out, you lift the tab up, pull it out, zip. It's a lot easier than fishing through, you know, like 1,000 or 500D Cordura straps. So there's those. You got a bunch, actually. You got one, two, three, four, short one. So five long, three shorts. Pistol, rifle mags. Speaking of mags... What else do you get in here? Glad you asked. That's not Condor you see in there. It's Cordura. Actual branded Cordura. Cordura Nylon. Cordura is the actual company, the proprietary company that makes Cordura Nylon. And there's also, a, I think, Cordura, K-O-R-D-R-A, from Korea. Real simple. Nothing super fancy. It's not a taco or anything like that. Just simple rip open. You don't really have a way to stash... Your flap, but you can take the flap off. You can go ahead and get the bungee system if you want and add, add it onto there. All the cutting looks really good. Are we focused? There we go. That's a little better. And you've got a tag on here. It says Armored Republic, which is AR-500. So, we got that. Cool. Cool beans. <clears throat> Next. All right, not really sure why my video stopped. Wasn't paying attention, I guess. Um, as you saw, M4 pouches. 
I'm sure you could put AK magazines in here as well. There's a bunch of extra Velcro up top. And you only need a little bit to hold on there. Plus, if you didn't want to use these, you could put a little like a one by one square of Velcro on your mag and on the inside of the pouch here. That way you wouldn't have to necessarily use a strap over the top. Or you can attach yourself a little bungee system because there's Velcro on the back side. And then you can put, you have the Velcro right here. You just run the little bungee strip if you're so inclined. Uh, right here you got some like shotgun shell holders if you want to or better yet, tourniquet holders. You can use glow sticks, xylem sticks if you want as well. Markers, whatever you want to put there. And again, Armored Republic branded again. The last attachment that actually goes onto there is the universal holster. Holds pretty much any size gun. And I'm not going to grab mine right now because it's actually in the other room. And the gun I have in here will not fit in here. Shotgun won't fit. <clears throat> I have this little silica pit package falling out. There we go. Real simple system. Velcro. Lots of Velcro. Lots of security in it. You put your pistol in here. You adjust this piece so it fits nice and snug. You adjust this so it's nice and snug. And then you close this flap on it. Same thing with the snap closure. You can adjust them. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You can adjust the, the depth that goes in. And it attaches by moly. Imagine that. So that must be what the other two are for. Because I wasn't thinking. Hold on a second. Oh, doggy. There we go. <clears throat> Easy little snaps. Easy enough. May or may not use that. Probably not. But we'll see. So, you got that. And now, the piece that is the stalls. Pretty much the main squeeze here. The actual PC. The plate carrier. We don't need this on the table anymore. There we go. Really nice, I think. Actually seeing it in person. I've watched a lot, only a few videos on this. Joey Cuz is one who's done videos. And a couple other people I'd never really heard of. But, uh, no, I've heard Joey Cuz, of course, naturally. Here it is. It feels good. It feels like really nice build quality. Now, I did not get the Cumberbund kit or the kangaroo pouch. Oh, that's the backside. I do want to get the kangaroo pouch, I believe. Once I get the plates in here, we'll find out for sure if I do or not. But a kangaroo pouch, you got ones that actually attach to your molly in the front. But they have other ones that go in your admin pocket. Man, that's good. That feels like a Hypalone tab. That's cool. What you do basically is you stuff it in here and it attaches to the molly. I'm sorry, the Velcro. And you have room for three, four megs, however many you're going to fit in there. Okay. So that's nice. You also have a secondary, tertiary admin pouch right here. It's actually a very deep admin pouch. You can put a lot of crap in there. Once the plate's on here, probably less room. But all the Velcro you see here is also the molly on this panel. Up here, you have morale patches and molly. You have other ones right here going the opposite direction vertically versus horizontally. Wow. You have more molly up here on the shoulder pads. And if you don't like the padding, you can remove it if you want to. That's always a nice option. And it's also adjustable, so you get a perfect fit to where it's going all the way up to your sternal notch. On your throat, if you ever watch a TV show where they give you a tracheotomy and that feel up there by the bottom of your throat, top of your breastbone, that little U, if you're unfamiliar, that's how high your plates have to go to protect that core part of your body. Goes on both sides. You have two buckles. Kind of remind me of not ITWs, but a fast X type of deal. Not sure what the brand is. It says GSI on it. Is that GSI International? I don't know. There's no pocket back here, I don't believe. Nope. You got a small drag handle. I am large size hands. These are ungloved. That's a little tight. Hopefully you're never going to have to use that. Something feels velcro -y over here. Oh, for the cummerbund system. Yep, sure enough. So you slide your cummerbund system in it. It's a laser cut hypalon, which is cool. And I believe you can get side plates for it too. Um, your two side straps. Quick disconnects. You know, just a little plastic buckle. 
saves weight, which is always good. How do you get plates in these, if you ever wondered? Well, good question. Before we get to those, take a look at the insides. The mesh. Let me grab a flashlight here. Show up a little better. Oh, good job. Yeah, real good job. Let's try a different flashlight. Uh, here, let's try this one. There we go. That's a little better. You got this mesh to help it breathe. Plates are going to be hot, especially steel because of their weight. In the wintertime, they'll be a little colder. Um, you got Velcro on the inside here. You can put trauma pads in here if you want to. You can buy those trauma pads as well from AR500. So, let's take a look and see what we got here. And that's both on the front and back. Real simple design. I like it because it's a slick style, which means it doesn't have a lot of crap on it. It's not truly slick where there's no attachments on the front. But it's very standard. You got Velcro. You undo it. You pull the flap out. And there's more Velcro on the inside. It goes up pretty high, actually. So, let's throw one of these suckers in here. How easy is it, ladies and gentlemen, once you got it open? It's like putting a pizza in the oven. Take your Velcro flap. Once it's in there, push it back in. Word to the wise, pull it tight. Pull the back tight. That's it. Grab this one. Exact same thing. Nothing different. Open it. Pull your Velcro out. Make sure your strike face is going in the correct direction. It's designed that way. Get it in, give it a little shake so it's nicely seated. And if you notice, here's the seam where it bends over, where the stitch line is. Okay? That's another thing, the stitching on here is really nice. Pull up kind of tight and roll it over. You want to keep it in that position. Pull this one up tight. Snug, whatever word you want to use, and go like so. Why did I pull the back end up tight when you really didn't need to? It'll probably change when I'm wearing it. When you pull it up tight, you get just a little lip that goes over. See that? And that might help this rougher edge from digging into your body fat like I have. So there you go. Pretty fancy. Oh, you know what? We're forgetting one of the most important things to put on here, aren't we? There we go. Let's put on a tactical patch as well. Wouldn't be right otherwise. So here we go. Just like so. That's pretty. I like it. So I'm going to go throw it on slick, see how it feels. You might get to see that. We'll see what happens. 